Hello and welcome to a brand new video of Global Techniques of Architecture. It's it's such a pleasant moment that we have completed one year of YouTube channel and last year this day I compiled my first video and of course it was on air on 14th of April. But the way industry has reciprocated, uh, reciprocated the way people have uh, accepted the channel I'm, I'm really touched, I'm really grateful to all the viewers, to all the uh, subscribers, to all the guys who have commented on the channel, onto videos that yes, we would be requiring this, we would be requiring this kind of video, we would be requiring this kind of video. It's a big thanks to them. So with that, uh, we, we decided to roll out few more videos into the same uh, uh, vertical of facades. And yes, of course, uh, it's it's again a happy situation that yes, we have covered uh, almost 50% uh, of uh, what the industry is looking for as a beginner into the industry. And then too, there was there were few questions uh, from the civil uh, fraternity, civil engineers uh, across uh, India that we are still struggling to figure out what is a DGU. So for them as uh, a, a consolidated uh, consolidated video, I wanted to bring them a comparative between a DGU and a laminated glass because into this both the phenomena, double glass has been used. So the confusion that uh, people are facing is, if at all it's a double glass unit, how different is that in case of a laminated glass? Because lamination, also has two glasses so the the basic uh, definition goes uh, that lamination is sandwich wherein an interlayer uh, is sandwiched between the two glasses and whereas if at all i call it a dgu wherein in my last video i had told uh, i had requested rather that rather than writing uh, a spec uh, under the banner of uh, DGU, please start mentioning insulated glass unit. So, depending upon all these parameters, uh, we uh, decide. We as a team decided that let's first of all uh, explain in detail what is a IGU, insulated glass unit, and automatically people get the idea that okay this is IGU so the thing that is in front of me or what I was thinking now to be a DGU is a laminated glass. So here goes the sample that I have arranged for you. So in this case you can clearly see these are two glasses one or say one two. So these are two glasses and they are held together with the help of a spacer in between. So this is the aluminum spacer. So from any direction, if you look at this glass, you see 100% two glasses together. So if you look at, if you look at this spacer, if you look at say probably this spacer, you can see this aluminum spacer between this. So if at all the spacer is, vis is visible, this is a double glass unit. This is 100% a double glass unit which has to be called as insulated glass unit. Now the question is, what is this black color? Is it a normal glue? Is it a sealant? Is it, is it a special sealant? Yes, of course it's a special sealant. And this sealant, believe me, this sealant, nobody is going to answer you, but this sealant is PIB, polyisobutyl which is considered into the category of non-curing sealant and once used it remains there for ages together. Since onto a project if at all it has been used these two glasses have to act as one that's why the the word is called unit that's why the word is called word is called unit so DGU is double glass unit IGU is insulated glass unit but onto a project of with uh, glazing done onto this this hat this has to act as one unit that's why PIB is used this PIB has a peculiarity of not curing at all and so 
the adhesion of this to aluminum and aluminum to glass remains intact even if i try my level best i cannot peel it off apart so then comes the process of condensation the problem with the dgu is the phenomena of condensation that occurs initially we used to put in argon in between these two glasses the air gap which is being created was supposed to be filled in with a inert gas ideally argon but of late we realized that argon being an inert gas it just escapes out uh, through any hairline cracks so then we decided just to create an air vacuum now if the dgu is not processed properly the this processing of dgu happens at the processor's end so if at all it is not processed properly there is a water accumulation issue on to an on to a finished project and if at all the project is finished and you want to uh, audit it again so and if at all we as auditors come across a dgu having a water fill into it my straight away recommendation goes to the client is just replace it this is a deadly phenomena now if at all this is to be replaced onto a executed project the cost of just replacing uh, first of all removing the glass with the issue and then redoing it with a fresh glass is at least 5 times the normal cost of first time executing it so to a client who is moving towards a a nice project a nice finishing uh, finishing up a project he must be also wise enough while choosing the glass processor so whoever is the glass processing company they have to give it in writing that yes our dg would be performing for next 25 years 20 years 10 years back to back warranty has to be adhered to if at all you have missed or you cannot correlate what i'm talking of the water getting accumulated inside the dgu please do have a look at the video uh, the previous one water inside the dgu i've just uh, created a bang uh, effect onto the dgu to make you see the uh, ripples over the water over there performance coating so performance coating uh, is also a phenomena now onto these glasses this glass i have four surfaces so if at all i say four surface i have surface number 1 surface number 4 two and three are adhering to the spacer to the aluminum spacer this aluminum spacer also has uh, moisture absorbents inside it so this absorb moisture which is formed between the two glasses if you if you look at this if you look at this if my camera is fa fair enough it can show you these these holes that you see here absorb the moisture and the uh, absorbent absorbs it through these holes so the moisture is also not allowed to be the condensation also if at all it happens it has to get get absorbed and taken out of the dgu and if at all the performance of i talk about a performance glass so performance coating has to be done on the second and the third surface second second and the third surface second and third first second third fourth so second and third second and third are the uh, surfaces wherein performance coating is to be done on to the glass so i hope uh, this clears your performance uh, criteria from uh, an insulated glass unit so this i suppose uh, answers all the major queries that my civil engineering friends had about a dgu if at all you still have any doubt i am dropping my mail id uh, into the description and also my cell number so if at all you you feel like uh, contacting me i'm uh, available at one phone call away once again uh, thanks for reaching this part of the video and if at all you come across any other queries for a dgu or sorry insulated glass unit please do uh, reach us and do comment uh, about it that yes i have missed uh, this and once again 
Thanks for watching.